I believe in a recent poll, Vancouver was voted Canada's most entrepreneurial city. Don't quote me on it, but I think so. Love speaking to some really tuned in business people in BC. We're going to talk to one right now. Sky and Tara Jane, Jack's Morning Glory. Yeah, I think a really shocking deal was made with this guy last night on Dragon's Den Christmas episode. Joining us now to talk about it, local guy Jason Mason, his product, snow pants that look like real jeans. Okay, so Jason, I read that you started this company because you like hitting the slope in jeans. But until last night, (laughs) when I saw the episode, I thought the only reason anyone ever wore jeans on the hill is because they forgot their snow pants. So fill me in here. Why would you want to ride in jeans? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I, I love snowboarding in jeans because it reflects skateboarding. And that's how I grew up with snowboarding and skateboarding. And, you know, I also did, I grew up in Nova Scotia and it was the, you know, it was the, the late 80s and there wasn't really snowboard brands. And we used to just wear whatever we had on or whatever was in the, the closet. And if you knew you were going to get wet, then you threw two pairs of pants on. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> genius. I mean, really, that was our logic, right? Like, well, I'm going to be outside for three hours. We're going to put another pair of pants on. And but these these are fully lined, 100% breathable, actual Water denim repellent snow denim. pants. Yeah, it's the real deal. One of, yeah, it's performance outerwear, and it's real denim. It's not lookalike denim. It's not pretend. It's not sort of. It's it's the real deal. It's 100. Like that was one of my part of my strict criteria because other snowboard brands have made a denim like snow pant before. Yep. But um, oh my god, they just look so goofy, and there's just weird stitching, and it's weird for the sake of weird. And so, Jason, uh, last night on Dragon's Den, yeah, you received how much money? Uh, well, the deal, I, I asked for $100,000 for 20% of the company, which valued my company at half a million. And, uh, and then Jim said, no, it's 125000 for 20%. So it went from to 625000 within a second. <laughs> so he actually uh, increased the, the value of the company? They usually just lowball you, don't they? Yeah, that's usually what happens. It kind of, it kind of threw me a bit. I was like... Wow, did he just offer me more money for and not ask for more percentage? <laughs> how did you feel beforehand, or how did the presentation go? Were you nervous? Did you fumble? Did you know all your details about the company and stuff? It, it seems real scary being on the show, like the idea of it. And I remember the, the week before I left, I was, I was sitting on the sofa and the show came on, and I literally got a panic attack and started sweating before the, <laughs> the week before I left for Toronto. But once I was there, I found... It was actually quite easy. All you really have to do is just know your business. Yeah, that's true. Other people go in there and they can't explain half of it and everything, don't they? Yeah, I mean, the thing I was worried about most is just saying something that made me sound like crazy. <laughs> but but yeah, like I, mean, I like to wear jeans on the slopes, like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being on the show, man. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much. Jack Morning Glory with Kai and Tara Jean. Norwegian death metal of Vancouver Morning Radio. Arrgh!